Hello and welcome to our channel Nutramite where we provide informative videos regarding health and lifestyle. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for important notification and videos. Side effects of using hard water. You just moved into a new place and you notice something is not quite right. There's something going on and you have a sneaking suspicion it might have to do with the tap water. Hard water problems can be a real hassle, especially for new homeowners who may be unfamiliar with the issues it causes. Solving those problems can vastly improve your family's quality of life and get things back to normal again. So, what is hard water? We all learned in school that water is H2O. Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom make up a water molecule, right? What many of us don't realize is that extra stuff can get into the water we drink. Some of it is perfectly safe to consume while other water contaminants could negatively impact your family's health. But tap water is certainly not 100% pure H2O. Hard water is basically water containing a high mineral count. Groundwater often percolates through limestone where it picks up calcium and magnesium deposits. Drinking water can also contain trace minerals like iron which gets picked up from the soil, lakes and rivers, even older corroded plumbing. In some regions, hard water may also contain manganese or aluminium. Of course, things like calcium, magnesium and iron aren't necessarily bad for you. In fact, they are actually beneficial nutrients. However, hard water sediments can also carry potentially harmful bacteria along with them. A 2014 study found hard water scaling is directly responsible for bacterial growth in residential drinking water. If your home gets water from a well, you most likely have hard water. But it's not just a rural issue. The US Geological Survey says 85% of homes in the nation have hard water. First, your water tastes weird. A strange odor or taste to drinking water is often one of the first clues you have a water conditioning problem. It's a sure sign there is hard water or some sort of bacterial contaminant. For instance, if your water has an unpleasant metallic taste, that's probably too much iron. If your water smells like rotten eggs, that could be naturally occurring hydrogen sulfide gas or certain bacteria reacting with magnesium to form sulfates. Some people say their water tastes like dirt. That could be sediment, actual dirt, old pipes or algae. Algal blooms can also give tap water a moldy aftertaste. No one likes to drink water with a funky smell or flavor, but that's just the beginning of your problems. Second, you encounter strange stains. Ugly brown or reddish stains on the pore clean are a big embarrassment. You can blame hard water for that too, specifically iron. It's not coincidence those stains look a lot like rust spots. The iron in your water could be coming from rusty pipes. You will have to use a lot of elbow grease to get rid of those stains. Some people suggest using vinegar to help clean and remove them. Unfortunately, the stains will keep reappearing until you fix your hard water problem. Third, you are getting soap scum. Another unsightly issue is the appearance of those white hard water spots. That's what you get then water evaporates and leaves calcium deposits behind. When you have hard water, you will notice nasty soap scum seems to accumulate all over the place. That's because soap and the minerals in hard water just don't play nicely together. If your dishes are always spotty, it may not be your dishwasher, it's probably your water. What's worse, soap scum left on shower curtains can lead to the development of a microbial biofilm that might contain disease-spreading bacteria. With hard water, you may find yourself cleaning the bathroom and kitchen more often and using more cleaning products to get the job done. Who wants to do that? Fourth, 
you have a bad showering experience. Showering is your time to escape the world for 10 minutes to wash the dirt and worries away. But when you have hard water, shower time can be ruined. As we have mentioned, minerals cause hard water to react ineffectively with soap. This makes it harder to get a good lather when you bathe. It also makes it more difficult to wash all the soap off your body, leaving a film of soapy residue on your skin. Deposits from hard water can clog up your shower head too. That means weaker water pressure. With hard water, you may not be getting as clean and you may notice your hair is hard to manage. Yes, hard water could even be responsible for your bad hair days. Fifth, you are getting clogged pipes. Shower heads aren't the only things that can get clogged up thanks to hard water. It can cause major plumbing issues as well. Scale deposits build up inside your pipes like plaque inside an artery, constricting the flow of water, eventually leading to backups and the need to call a plumber for help. If you have PVC or copper pipes, this probably is not an issue. It's most common with older steel pipes. Sixth, your cleaning experience is suffering. Hard water can have a negative impact on laundry and once again it's all due to the rocky relationship minerals like calcium and magnesium have with soap and detergent. Soap is used to wash away dirt and grime but when soap doesn't get rinsed off it can actually increase soil buildup on your clothes. Clothes washed in hard water often appear dingy and wear out faster. It can even make your towel scratchy and rough. When you have hard water, you may have to buy detergent formulated to soften the water for you. However, you will likely have to use more laundry detergent and hotter water to get your clothes clean. It's even advised that people with hard water use four times as much detergent. Plus, just as iron stains your bathroom fixtures, it can stain your clothes. Premature yellowing of your whites could be caused by iron content in the water. When combined with bleach, iron oxidizes and iron oxide is just another name for rust. 7th. You are encountering skin irritation issues. Because washing in hard water will leave soap behind, it causes people's skin to get dried out and itchy. Mineral deposits left on the body can also suck moisture right out of your skin. The skin condition, eczema, is fairly common, especially among younger children. There is research indicating that bathing in hard water could cause eczema symptoms to worsen. Another study concluded exposure to hard water could increase the risk of developing eczema in elementary school age children. 8. Your appliances are wearing out quickly. This might be the most expensive hard water problem of all. Those scale deposits can wreak havoc on many appliances in your home, from the dishwasher to the hot water heater. A buildup of sediment in your water heater can make it far less efficient. The same goes for other appliances. Poor efficiency means bigger utility bills. The ice maker in your fridge can stop working as scale deposits clog up valves. The American Water Works Association says hard water can cause a washing machine to wear out 30% faster than normal. It's not difficult to see how hard water can cost you money in the long run. In fact, its estimated hard water expenses could cost you $800 or more every year. Treating hard water for use Eliminating all lime scale from the home isn't possible with just a single method. Several different methods would have to be combined to even begin to take on this monumental task. For most homeowners though, they don't need to eliminate every single instance of lime scale in the home and plumbing. Each of these groups of methods is good for tackling lime scale in a certain way. Physical Water Conditioners these are so named because they physically limit the properties of hard water. This hard water treatment comes in three different forms, electronic, electrolytic and magnetic. 
In this video, we are going to cover only electronic and electrolytic conditioners. Electronic conditioners Induction coils are wrapped around the pipe wire. These coils transmit audio frequency through the water. Over time, this will limit lime scale inside the pipes, which will also reduce the amount of tough lime scale spots in your home. The main benefit of electronic conditioning is that water will be safe to drink. However, this method isn't always as effective as the others. Do note that some manufacturers will offer a money back guarantee. Electrolytic conditioners Inline devices are plumbed into your piping. The devices come in different lengths to suit your pipe work. Unlike electronic conditioners, they don't need an electric power supply, so there is no annual running cost. The whole house is provided protection against lime scale, and water is also safe to drink. The main cost with electrolytic conditioning is the plumbing cost. There is the initial cost of installing them into the pipe work and then the periodic replacements to maintain full level of protection. Chemical Water Conditioners There are two main subcategories, packet softeners and dosing systems. They are mainly suited for washing clothes. There are many pros and cons of using chemical hard water treatment that we'll discuss in a future video. But for now, here's all you need to know. Packet softeners can also be split into precipitating and non-precipitating types. Packet softeners soften water for clothes washing. Precipitating Composed of washing soda and borax. This hard water treatment is suited for washing clothes. It's not suited for whole house water softening. Water isn't drinkable. Non-precipitating Composed of calcium. This hard water treatment is also for laundry only. Phosphate dosing Phosphate is held in a container fitted into a cartridge in the plumbing system. Water going through the cartridge is dosed with small amounts of phosphate, thus softening water. Mechanical water softeners aka ion exchange softeners, these are the true hard water softeners. Physical and chemical conditioners are also referred to as softeners, but they really aren't. They don't remove hard minerals from water, they only prevent the minerals from sticking to surfaces. The only real way to soften hard water is to remove the calcium and magnesium minerals that make the water hard. Only ion exchange softeners and some water filters do this. Water filters some common water filters that will do the job of producing soft water. Caron resin filters, reverse osmosis units, water distillers. These are only available in a single outlet, not throughout the home. Lime scale will still stay on taps, shower heads, etc. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon for important notifications and videos.